Okay, so the next step is just to put the bed tape down. Um, if you've washed the bed with in, uh, Windex, the blue 3M painter's tape works really well. And I will generally start on the left side close to the heater bed connection. And I will line up my first strip of tape about as parallel as I can get it right next to the edge here. What that does is put a little bit of tape at the home area where the filament will stick to at the beginning of the print without dragging the primed uh, filament into the print. Then use a pocket knife to just slice off the tape and then lay down the next strip. When laying down the strips you want to leave a very very small gap in between them. It is better to have a gap than an overlap. And they continue across the bed. Whiter tape is available if you want whiter strips. This generally works pretty well since there's less tape to replace. Uh, if you want fewer lines in your print, then you can use the whiter tape. They do have tape that is almost three inches wide. Now on the last one, you are going to go over the bed leveling bolts. You get around those just by taking a slice you generally won't print that far over but that's easier than trying to cut a straight line in the middle of the tape and then slice off the overhang Alright, leveling the bed is one of the most important things to, that you can do to getting a good print and starting off a print properly. So I'm going to go through a demonstration of how to level the bed using the Reliabuild 3D firmware and uh, leveling system. The first thing that you got to do when you're leveling the bed, especially on a printer that's already been used, is to make sure that it is heated up, both the bed and the and the nozzle um, so that it melts any of the plastic that's in there so you don't have a hard plastic bead that will offset your your leveling. So once the, the printer is hot, um, in this case I have the bed heated up to two or to 60 and the nozzle up to 210. This is just PLA and the system starts by going down to the bed leveling, press level, and what will happen is the printer will now home on its location and start the bed leveling sequence. Now first when you start, you want to make sure that there's some drag on the paper when it's at the proper level. Right now, this is uh, very loose. There's, there's almost no drag at all. I can feel that I am close. So I'm going to turn the, the bolt counterclockwise to tighten the bed a little bit. And I only turned it about uh, maybe half, half of a turn. And I can now feel that there's a little bit of drag. That's close enough for now. I hit the middle button and it goes to this next point. I can feel that this one is dragging a little bit harder than the others. I'm not sure what this side of the bed is yet, so I'm going to loosen that up slightly by turning clockwise, which tightens up the bolt and loosens the bed. 
That was a quarter turn, that was too much. So back it off about an eighth. I can feel that it's dragging. Now I'm going to go to the go back uh, menu or option. So that'll take me back to the previous one so that I can level this side first. And now because I raised the other one or lowered the other one, this one's going to be looser. So tighten this one up slightly. I'm now getting a nice drag on there where I can push the paper back and forth without buckling it, but I can feel the drag. Then hit continue. This should be about the same. Slightly loose. Now when I test the paper, I always take the Allen wrench out of the, the head of the bolt so that I'm not putting any pressure from my hands on there. I now have um, two points on this side that are about the same drag and I'm now ready to move to the other side. I may have to only go around two or three times. Okay, that one's dragging slightly, so we'll just tighten that up just a little bit. So it's about the same as what's on the other side. There we go. Hit continue, which is the middle button. That's a little bit on the tight side. Still tight. And then I will do the same thing on this side with the go back. Continue. getting it just about even on that side. And then I will start the process over by hitting the middle button twice. My goal is to be able to go all the way around without having to touch any of the bolts and I have the same drag on the paper at all four points. Now because I had lowered those, these sides will now be loose, but I know that both of these were balanced before. So if I turn both of them, about a sixteenth, or an eighth of a turn. I can now feel a constant drag on this side. Hit continue. And the other side should be about the same. It's a little bit too tight. And I do the same process with the go back to make sure that both sides are equal. That's good on that side. We'll make sure this side stayed in alignment. Get loose. So this one needs to be a little bit tighter. Use the go back again. So that's a good amount of drag. So this is the second time around. You may have to do three times to initially get the bed level. At future uh, attempts to level the bed or to fine tune it do not require as many times around. It's usually just once. Okay. 
We've got a good amount of drag there. Same amount. This side should not have changed, so I should be lined up. And that's the same. Now for the last one, I will hit the back button and it puts it in the center of the printer, hit the back button two more times, hit the right button to go to the Z jog and take the Z all the way down to the bed. I can then feel that the drag on the paper is the same as it was at the four corners, meaning I have a perfectly level bed and I basically have a cross of three points through the middle that are all flat. Um, you do want to raise up Z before you home it and you're now ready to go. I can now start a print and we will see how this first layer goes down on this print. So now we'll see how the first layer goes down. It's uh, spitting out about a 15 millimeter pile here so it doesn't drag it over to prime the head. And you can see that first line going down. It is nice and flat. So I'm getting two lines there in my skirt. There's no gap between them and they are flat against the bed. If you don't like the way the first layer is going down, you can turn all four bolts about a uh, 16th of a turn counterclockwise and that will tighten up the whole bed at the same rate across all four. This gives you a little bit tighter squish on the first layer. That is totally up to preference. But this looks like this is laying down nice and flat with just enough squish to stick it to the bed. But it won't be hard to get the part off the bed when we're done printing. That's nice and flat. The print speed on this to start off is at 35 millimeters per second. Um, the bed being heated up to 60. And the layer resolution, I think on this one, is uh, 0.2 or 0.25. When this gets up to 0.5 millimeters in layer height, the bed will automatically drop down to 45 degrees C, which is below the glass temperature of the PLA making it so that that PLA doesn't peel up at the edges or warp on your part as upper layers cool. And still allowing for a fairly fast build rate. Subsequent layers are 40 on the outer shell and 45 on the inner and infill. Also 40 on the top and bottom layers. So you'll see the speed uh, just increase slightly. And we are off to a good print. Happy printing. 
You can now see at this point that we are at 0.7 millimeters in height. We've passed the 0.5 setting and the bed temperature has dropped down to 45 uh, setting. You can see that it's dropped from 60 down to 50. It's slowly approaching that 45. And the part cooling fan is now on 100% um, for cooling the plastic immediately as it comes out, which gives you really tight uh, feature control especially around circles and small features and bridging. If, if this part doesn't have any bridging in it, but if you do have bridging, the cooling fan and the high efficiency duct allows you to bridge 15 millimeters with less than 0.1 millimeter of sag on the part. So this part is off and running. We're running at uh, the full speed now. The fan, cooling fan is on and the bed temperature is dropping and there's no sign of any lifting at the corners and the part is still very flat. Alright, so now once your print is done, this is on another printer, um, you let the bed cool down or the part cool down to at least below 40 C, if not all the way back down to room temperature. And to pop this off the bed without uh, damaging your bed leveling or changing it, you use a 3 quarter inch chisel very sharp, bevel side down, and by just placing the edge of the chisel and just prying down, you do not have to scrape. Part just pops off the bed with very little uh, pressure on the bed. I can now start another print immediately and it will stick to the bed just at the same level as what we did previously.